or the hard way. That's what Nancy Pelosi told to Joe Biden, Joe Biden, and his team. Clearly, the easy way was not working. Joe Biden continued to refuse to give up his position as the nominee of the Democrat Party. So that means they're going to have to try the hard way. That's when they hatch their evil plan. Instead of getting Joe Biden to drop out with consent, we're going to make him drop out. And we're going to do that by ending his life. Of course, we happened to get COVID before, right? So what if we have him mysteriously pass away from COVID while he's sick, while he can't fight back? We take him out, we say it was natural causes, and boom, now democracy is saved, of course. Even two days ago, he was still posting to try to get more campaign donations. His campaign released multiple statements. We're not dropping out of the race. Joe Biden, Joe Biden, over and over and over again saying, no, it's not happening. We are staying in the race. So what that means is that the person they're about to put up is going to be the most controlled, the worst for the country. This is such an evil plan that it almost looks like a movie. Now they may try to put out someone who looks like Joe Biden to endorse Kamala because that letter that he put out did not have his actual signature on it. You can go look at any reference of that. On top of that, it did not have the official presidential seal. Why was it posted on the one social media account that we know for a fact is the most controlled by his campaign? He almost never has posted on X the entire time that he's been president. And yet, that's where he chooses to make the announcement on a platform owned by someone who is funding his opponent. None of that makes sense, right? Well, it does when you start to realize how evil these people really are.